last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. How far away is it though? She turned off the sink and began to dry her hands. It's in the next prefecture over. Which one? Oh, it's a... Uh... A bird chirped outside. Oh, that's not too far. Only around 15 minutes by bus. MC or me, what did I tell you about taking the bus? Yuri doesn't like those. Just go on foot. Uh, do we have to take the bus? Yuri seemed hesitant. Ah, uh, yeah? It's too far to walk there. Uh, oh, too far. You know, we don't have to go to the bookstore. Yuri, you'll be fine. I know you probably don't like the bus, but I'll be there. Hopefully that helped a little. I put the last piece of food into my mouth. And then, after 15 minutes, we can get off the bus and look at some books. I stood up, grabbed my plate, walked over and gave her a kiss. It'll be fun, I promise. I put my plate in the sink and Yuri gave me a kiss back. Alright. Fun. It'll be fun. I nodded. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully there won't be any form of harassment or assault in this episode because really, we don't tolerate that in this house. Next time she mentions her harming, are you going to tell the story about how you cut your finger opening a can of soup? Uh, dang it. I need to calm the heck down. Yuri does. Yuri didn't seem too upset about it. So what? So why should I be? I don't need to make a big deal about it. I just need, just need to enjoy my day. Oh, we're here. Yuri pulled me into a nearby store, and and there we were. Ah yes, we all seen this uh, this bookstore before. In the new bookstore, seemed rather boring. <laughs> I was never big on libraries and bookstores, but we're not here for me. I shook my head and walked down one of the aisles. Hmm, romance. Romance is an interesting genre. On one hand, I've played plenty of visual novels in my time. Those were pretty good. So I can safely say that I enjoy some romance here and there. But on the other hand, the literary romance works are all chick novels. Boring girl main characters and big, strong men love interests. And I can't say I enjoy those. So what's the verdict? I picked up the book. Can enjoying visual novels be considered enjoying literature? Mm, good question though. I never thought of that aside from manga, but still, it's in the book. I mean, it, it kind of counts, I guess, but I don't know. It, it, it's debatable. You guys can uh, can decide on that, I think. Uh, I'm a virgin. <laughs> it's a verdict. <laughs> okay. Uh, get me out of here. I can feel my masculinity fading. I walked out of my aisle and into the aisle Yuri was in. He held two books in her hands. One was red, the other gray. What you got there, babe? Ah, uh, just some, well, books. Mmm, yes, like the floor is, it's floor. She turned to me. I'm having a hard time deciding between these two. She chuckled. I don't have a lot of money, so it's one or the other. I'm sure my situation is one you can easily see and understand. Yeah, no, I getcha. Well, what are your options? Well, this one. She held up the red book. It's, it's longer, but I'm less interested in it. And this one. She swapped hands and held up the gray book. Is much, much shorter, but I've had it on my list for a long time. Hmm, well, I would get the gray one. You say you've been interested in it for a while, yeah? She nodded. So it only makes sense to get that one. True. Well, 
All right, then. Thanks for the help. Of course. She put the red book back on the shelf and walked over to the old lady in the checkout area. Uh, it was time to make a top tier boyfriend play. I followed Yuri to the checkout counter and stood beside her. Not going to buy anything? Nah. Yuri purchased her book and we both left the store. Here goes. Oh, hold on. Hmm? I gotta go to the bathroom. There's one in the bookstore, so I'll be quick. Oh, alright. Take your time. I'll be over on that bench. Yuri walked over to a nearby bench and opened up her new book. Action time. I walked back into the bookstore and back to that aisle. I grabbed the book and walked to the checkout counter. The cashier seemed confused but went with it. I bought the book and got it bagged. Sweet! They should get me some points. I waved goodbye to the cashier and walked out of the store. Ah, sunlight. I turned to Yuri and she was still sitting on that bench. She didn't hear me exit the store. Uh, she seemed so peaceful in that moment. Yuri was always a bookworm, but I really envied her ability to just get lost in the world of fiction. I smiled and walked over to her. Her head perked up when my shadow covered her sunlight. Oh, you're back already? I nodded. Yeah, I just had to pee. Wait, what's in that bag? Seems I've been found out. I smirked and pulled out the book. She gasped and then smiled. That's the... Yeah, huh? You didn't have to. And I wanted to. She stood up and gave me a kiss on the cheek. Thank you, Finn. No problem. I said slightly embarrassed. We were dating, yeah, but I still need needed to get used to the whole kissing thing. It was quite a big shift and sometimes she catches me off guard. Uh, so what now? I'm not sure. Maybe you'll probably just window shop until lunchtime. Ah yes, passing the time by looking at some stuff on the window. Maybe some merch. I might buy some. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Good idea. And so we did. After our window shopping for a while, we had stopped to get lunch at this hole-in-the-wall ramen shop. It was super good and I made sure to leave a nice tip. And finally, I've been able to pay for one of our dinner dates. Don't think about, don't think I forgot about Christmas. Of course, of course. Uh, anyway. We were walking through our park when I had begun thinking about it again. Yuri's bathroom habits. Now, on its own, that sounded strange. But with more context, it was concerning. Ever since me and Yuri had that moment in the woods, she had stopped using the bathroom right after she ate. Like her IBS was completely cured. And maybe she just hadn't eaten something that upset her stomach. Now, that was a possibility, yes. But it didn't just make sense for IBS to have been that specific. So I decided I had to I needed to bring it up. Even if nothing came of it, I can truly say I tried. Ah, uh, hey, Yuri? Yes, honey? Uh, do you mind if I ask a personal question? Well, that depends on the question. She giggled. What's up? Uh, stop hesitating. You don't really have IBS, do you? Her smile faded. Oh, crap. She seemed to start thinking about something. No, I do not have IBS. Well, it seems like the, um, the, the dialogue from the previous episode confirmed it. Right. Well, um... You don't have to worry about it, okay? She smiled softly. It was an issue, but it, along with the others, is just another obstacle I have to overcome. So while I ha I pre I appreciate you trying to talk about it, we can just let that 
let that lie. Oh, thank law. Well, all right. I said saving face. If you ever feel the need to talk about it, though, I'm here for you. Thank you, Finn. But everything's all right. I nodded. Good. I smiled. Stay strong, babe. I will. She leaned in and we kissed. Uh... After a few seconds, we split off and smiled at each other. I had fun today, Finn. Same here. When's the next date? She said jokingly. Well, I got something in mind for Valentine's Day. I did not. So, be excited for that. I wait in anticipation for that day. She kissed me again. I smiled. I put my hands in hers and we locked fingers. Hand in hand, we begin walking again, content. Valentine's Day! Our, all right. Chapter 8 Picnic. Ooh! Maybe a Valentine's Day picnic? That would be cool. Uh, obviously, not every day of my life was full of emotional pain. Full of sad conversations and the discovery of issues. Sometimes, there were some genuinely... Some genuinely happy moments. Genuinely happy days. Uh, these days are ours. Happy and free. Absolutely. Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. A day that, in the past, I always viewed as pointless. What was there to celebrate? Love? Love isn't something that needs to be celebrated. I would say shaking my fist at Glob for not making my enemy life for real. Um, sucks to be you, MC, but uh, lucky for me, I already got one. But still, <laughs> scratch that. <laughs> you, you guys can, you guys can do whatever you want. All right, you can, you can love your anime wife wolves all you want. Okay, let's let's just say that. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness me, I'm so. Uh, Hmm. But now, I had a few reasons to celebrate love. The elephant in the room being my relationship with Yuri. A relationship that, despite its ups and downs, was going... good. Great, actually. Me and Yuri were happy. Finally, finally happy. There weren't any more secrets, our issues could be discussed openly. And we both trusted each other more than anyone else. I smiled looking at myself in the mirror. My hair looked good, my teeth were clean, and the outfit I wore really made my eyes pop. Perfect for what I have planned. Ooh la! I walked out of the bathroom and picked up the chocolates I had on my desk. It was only Valentine's, so I didn't have to get her a diamond ring or anything. She still wanted to get her something. Diamond ring! That's that's only when you're gonna get married, but still, eh, the simple things is enough for me anyway. I guess my plants could count as a present too, but I didn't think so. A date is a date, a gift is a gift. They aren't interchangeable. Well, unless the date is a trip to Hawaii or something. But that's more of a vacation than a... Oh, what am I talking about? You're just gonna be here any minute and I'm discussing whether or not a date or a vacation or whatever the heck it is I'm just talking about. Should I get her flowers? Ah, oh, crap. Why didn't I get her flowers? That's like the number one romance gift. Oh, dang it, that's her. No time to get flowers now. I shook my head and left my room and walked downstairs to get the door. I set Yuri's chocolates on, my, on the counter on my way there. A pep in my step, I flung the door open. Hey. Monica? What? Monica? Oh. Oh, okay. I, I, um, uh, I, okay, I'm pretty sure this might have to do with the, um, uh, with the closure kind of thing or something like that. But still, it's been, what, a few episodes before since I last saw you after I... You know what did to her? Oh my, okay. If this is about the closure thing, then sure, let's let's just get this over with. It was Monica. My mood changed from unhappiness to one of... 
concern and confusion. What could she need? It couldn't be that she... No. That was an entire conversation, an entire deal. Something she stressed over for a long time. The chances that she's making an attempt to win me over are slim to none. But I'm never gonna figure anything out if I just stand there like a dope. Um, what's up? Not much, Finn. I was coming through to give Sayori something for Valentine's, but then I remembered that you guys were neighbors. Which means I can give this to you now. She handed me two boxes of what seemed to be chocolates. One of those boxes is for Yuri, so don't go f eating them all by yourself, okay? Uh, alright. Well, thanks, Monica. Really thoughtful of you. I smiled. Thanks, Monica. Uh, um, I don't have anything I can give you. That's alright. I didn't give it to you so I could get something in return. Oh, well, thank you. She smiled and nodded. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Give Sayori her cookies. She turned to leave, but stopped. And, hey, open the chocolates addressed to you as soon as you can, okay? I nodded. Alright. Thanks. She turned around and walked off. I shut the door behind her. That was... strange. I exhaled slowly and looked over the chocolates in my hands. One had Yuri and the other had my name. I set Yuri's box on the nearby counter and held my own. While Yuri's was a heart, mine was a plain box. Uh, subtle. I was about to open mine before I was interrupted by a knock on my door. I set it down on the counter right next to Yuri's. I flung open the door. There she is. Hey! She raised an eyebrow. Hmm? Ah, don't worry about it. I smiled. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Happy Valentine's Day. She smiled and handed me a heart-shaped box of chocolates. Oh, thank you. I gave her a kiss on the cheek and set my chocolates on the counter. Next to the other boxes and the box I got for Yuri. Speaking of, I grabbed that box and handed it off. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to. But I wanted to. Which is my explanation for a lot of things. So just take them. Of course, just take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it! Well, all right. She took off the bow and opened a box of chocolates. Try one. That was the plan, hon. Okay, just making sure. She took a chocolate and put it in her mouth. Uh, coconut? I nodded. How did you know I... Yuri, you smell like coconut every single day of your life. If you chuckled nervously. Every time we go on dates, you try to order pina colada ice cream. And don't think I didn't notice that you put small bottles of coconut body wash in my bathroom drawers. It's pretty safe to say that you like coconut. So, I do. So I just went with my gut and got you some coconut chocolates. Coconut chocolates. The only coconut chocolate I know in my life is Bounty and... I don't know, do you guys like Bounty? For me, I don't because I usually avoid those, but saying that in front of Yuri, I'm sure it li she liked those, but I don't know, maybe I'll try it once if I do still have some left over, but eh, uh, let me let me know, let me guys know what you think in the comments down below if Bounty is good or bad, just to, you know, have some engagement around here. Do you like them? They're lovely. Thank you. I nodded. Of course, and thank you for the chocolates you got me. I'll open them later, but for now, you have something to do. And I want to get there before the raccoons reach it. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a picnic over at her secret place, right? But man, the raccoons. <laughs> so what? Don't worry about it. You ready to get going? Um, I guess. Why are there going to be raccoons? There won't be. We get there quick enough. Come on, you'll like it. I grabbed her hand and began to pull her along. Uh, okay. 
I love that she's confused because I just made a because it just made a raccoon joke. <laughs> I get it, Yuri joke. Makes sense. I'll trust you on this one. Good. Or I get you. I get you. I dragged us outside, locked the door, and began to walk to the park. That park. Of course. Oh, is this why you mentioned the raccoons? Close, but we're not there yet. Alright, lead the way. Oh, we're going there? I nodded. But that's where. I know, but hopefully this will bring the happier memories back. Back when it was the place to read your books and you showed it to me in confidence. We can go back just for a day. I smiled. Oh, Alright. Lead the way, oh nostalgic one. I chuckled and she giggled. Of course. And there we were. So what do you plan on doing here? Oh, nothing. I muttered and reached into a nearby bush. I pulled out a basket that was left inside. It was perfect. It had a flannel blanket inside and everything. We're going to have a picnic. We are? Well, that was exactly the reaction I was hoping for. Thanks for delivering. Are you kidding? I've wanted to go on a picnic with a boy I loved ever since I was a little girl. It all it just always seems so romantic. Perfect. I brought the basket over to get the blanket and folded it out. We both sat down and I pulled over the basket. So this is why you were worried about raccoons, she teased. I nodded smiling. Can blame me, right? She nodded. Indeed. I opened up the basket and pulled out two sandwiches. I made peanut butter and jelly. W wait, Finn, I... I made yours with almond butter. I said and handed her a sandwich I had labeled. Oh yeah, because she's a, she's... She's allergic to peanuts, of course. I didn't want to risk any, making anything with meat, so I did try the true method of... Well, making something from when we were kids. Who doesn't enjoy peanut butter and jelly? But not for Yuri though because she's allergic to peanut. As I rambled on, she began to slowly smile. Because I think, uh, uh, why are you... You remembered. Remembered what? You remembered that I was allergic to peanuts. Of course I do! Oh yeah, why wouldn't I? Hey, <laughs> gotcha. More points for this guy. Only for this mod. Uh, she then puts us in a passionate lip lock. Initially, I was surprised, but of course, I leaned into it. Uh, man, this will never get old. I could be 60 years old, but I'm sure I'll still adore kissing her. We she split it off, whistling as she did. Sorry. I had to get that out of my system. Yuri, if I ever demand an apology for you making out with me, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. No, don't give her the blades. I'd want you to kill me. <laughs> she giggled. She got it, hon. She unwrapped her, she unwrapped her sandwich and took a bite. I did the same. I gotta say, my best work yet. Oh shoot! I muttered, mouthful. Mm -hmm. I reached into the basket and pulled out a bottle of wine. This is the one I got from my father's collection. Don't tell him. You don't have to worry, I'm no snitch. She chuckled like a mature old woman. But I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you got wine for this. Of course. You said you liked wine, so I would have been a criminal not to grab some. I looked at the bottle. Red in color, I read the label. Some uh, Sifandel. Ooh, Sifandel? I can say I've ever had that one before. Well, you want to give it a try? I pulled out two glasses and a... Cork puller? The screwy thing. I stuck it in a cork and slowly twisted. Upon spending enough time and crying a few manly tears, I popped the cork out. Some fl wine flowed out, and I but I held it over the grass until it calmed down. 
When it did, I poured two glasses and handed one off to my beautiful girlfriend. Thank you. As she took a sip, she twirled it around her mouth for a few moments and then swallowed, while smiling afterwards. It's really good. Try it. I stared longingly at the medium red liquid in my glass. It was deep, but not too deep. It reminded me of a, a twisted version of cran cranberry juice. Bottoms up. I muttered and brought it to my lips. Wait, Finn, do- I took a large swig of the stuff. Uh... I cringed, my face contorting in every way, shape, and form. Sifundel is, is a rather strong blend, Finn. And you shouldn't gulp wine like that anyway. She giggled at my pain. Good to know. <clears throat> I coughed, the fiery flavor still coating my throat. Jeebus. This time, take a smaller sip. Good idea, babe. They ought to give you a Nobel Prize. I shook my head and brought the glass to my lips again. Going against my instinct, I took a small sip. Uh, that's pretty good. It's flowery, but there's also a rather large presence of berries. It was like a spicy fruit punch. So? It's not bad. She clapped her hands together and bounced in place. Yes, I'm so glad you like it. Uh, she didn't stop herself from feeling joy. She was excited for something and she didn't get embarrassed. Uh, I smiled and held out my glass. To us. I love you, Yuri. Love you too. She clinked her glass with mine and we both silently made our own vow. A vow between two people. Two people that love each other. That last to the end of time. Hmm. A picnic well spent. I had dropped Yuri off at her place and was finally arriving back in my own. What a long... No. What a fulfilling day. What a fun day. I smiled and unlocked my door. Ah. I smiled feeling the heat. I had turned it on before I left the house. I wasn't the one paying the heating bill. Why should I care? It got to be warmed and that's what it and that was all that mattered. I took up my sweater and set it on the bar stool. After which I noticed the things I left on the counter. Oh yeah, the chocolates Monica got for us. Open the chocolates addressed to you as soon as you can, okay? Crap. I shook my head and grabbed the wa <laughs> grabbed the white box. I took off the top which revealed a handwritten note. Oh, letter. Dear Fry, why is my name, why is, why is the name Fry there? Whatever. Our time together was short, but it was the best time of my life. I just want to let you know that I'm moving on, for real this time. I'm sorry to have to keep uh, dr drudging, drudging it up and preventing you from enjoying your time with Yuri. But I feel it needs to be said. I wish you the best, Monica. Uh, did she quote Futurama? Oh, Fry from Futurama. I get it. <laughs> Wait, no. You need to tr no, you drill bit. Focus. She wrote this note to tell you that she was moving on. That's good. This is good. Uh, dang it. Why couldn't she just uh, just said this in person? I could have I could have apologized. Probably. But now that she is long gone from my house, plus it's late, it'll just be weird and awkward if I were to try now. I massaged my nose. Well, I'll just take this as a good thing. A good thing. I set the note on the counter and took one of the chocolates. Might as well. Uh caramel. Nice. Caramel is pretty tasty. I like it. Chapter 9. Calling out to you. Hmm. Quite a short chapter for me, honestly, but whatever. 
And then in one felt like the blink of an eye, it was May. Five months since I started dating Yuri. If I want to be specific, it was the 14th of May. Now, why does this, why does this day matter? Uh, May 14th is Yuri's birthday. Oh. Well then, looks like the next one will be a very, very special one for Yuri, of course.